Pan Absolution, short game review. 47 breaks free from the agency, protecting a young girl who they were breeding into another clone killer like himself, and he is also framed for a murder, so he is now being hunted by both the ICA and the police. And basically that's trying to make him more of a Jason Bourne character where, ironically, the older games were more of him as Jason Bourne. This, has, this completely ditches the planning aspect and goes for constant sneaking with actually making disguises optional and yeah, everyone's looking for you because yeah, the, you're wanted by the police. You're sneaking in a very linear and at the same time aimless fashion and frankly often stumbling right over the kill method, sometimes even the sound assassin kill method. And of course you can still go in guns blazing, but it remains the less satisfying route in the long run. It's a fairly short game and only 14 hours. I'll, granted, I only had 17% of total unlockables, but that is all levels and completed with, you know, as many points as I was able to. I, yeah. The game goes a lot towards Assassin's Creed, though sadly not in the sandbox aspect, which without a doubt is the one aspect that it would most benefit from taking inspiration from Assassin's Creed from. You do have a uh, sensibility similar to Assassin's Creed and as expected they do it better than Assassin's Creed. The instinct mode provides hints, allows you to trick people wearing the same clothes as the disguise you're wearing, but only for brief segments, and allows you to go into point shooting where you tag people and very quickly and cinematically kill them, as well as allowing you to see through walls and predict patrolling guard paths. However, all of this, you have a certain meter and once you've spent it, you'll either have to, if depending on the the higher of the difficulty setting, you'll either have to replenish it by completing some objectives, or you won't be able to replenish it at all. So it's very much a difficult choice. Where do you want to use it, and what tactic do you want to use? The sneaking gets extremely repetitive, and there are far too few targets. So there's almost no payoff to all this sneaking. The Action aspects are fun enough, and it is a gorgeous game. The graphics are, again, setting a new standard. It is a very engaging story, although it is, it is a problem that it drives the game so much. Because it does... It leaves a lot of the open approach of the earlier games completely in the dust. And that was the trademark of the Hitman franchise. Hitman and Commandos are the only two franchises of stealth that I know of where it is that open and with Commandos completely dead, Hitman is the only one to carry on the torch. And it is very sad to see it becoming more plain in this way. I have nothing against stealth games focusing mostly on linear sneaking. I enjoy Splinter Cell quite a lot, but I don't want Hitman to become that. If you like this review and want a more detailed one, check below, it's there as a video response. If not, it'll be in the description box. I've reviewed other parts of this series, the links are in the description box. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.